Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yep, one more day left in the forest navel. So this part, what I think I'm gonna do here is since it's gonna go really really quick getting those two ship parts I left last time, I am going to be productive and consider flowering up Pikmin as well as breeding a ton more of them. Specifically blues actually, but anyway I'm gonna take mostly red just to get through the fire streams of death. Because there's still not going to be any enemies that respawn at this point in the game. And I'm not too concerned about the yellows. Oh, 38. That means... Ah, yes, a couple of the Pikmin that died in battle with those when they were flowered. They turn into uh, Pikmin that I can actually pluck out of the ground. So I guess I'll go back over there and grab them as well. I don't know which colors they were though. Probably yellows. Because I was messing around with yellows in that area. Um, let's flower them up. Because the grass is back. Flowery flower flower. Flower. Must power up the forces of flower. And bake ourselves a cake. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, right? No, no, it's not it. Come on. Oh, a little more. A little more. So this is gonna, going to be a really, really chill... Uh, episode because of the fact that everything's cleared everything's just waiting for me to pick it up just take it back to the ship so what I'm gonna do here is just to guarantee my success I'm going to immediately go over to the ship parts and get them uh, going with the Pikmin and then I'm going to work on building up the colors you know just breed breeding up the team dang you too <laughs> all right analog computer if you don't remember, I'll just check this with the A button. Analog computer strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While well, it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. It's just like my boss. <laughs> so let's get Pikmin on that. And the Libra. My daughter gave this to me. My late, <clears throat> my late return must have her very worried. And Pikmin on that. Go! And wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I'd seen one that got left there. Alright, they should be good, because there's all red on there, they're not going to be hurt by the flame jets, or flame geysers, whatever you want to call them. And now we're going to go over and start breeding, because they are going to be working on that happily. So I'm going to be looking around this place and seeing just how many Pikmin I can get with very little enemies left in this place, because I cleared the whole place of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I never did that before in any of my other playthroughs, but it's so helpful. Um, those blues are really taking a detour. So I'm going to go straight ahead to get the ones that I left. Well, not left on the ground, the ones that were growing overnight. Uh, yep, they are indeed yellows, or at least this one's a yellow. Pluck. I'll leave my team behind. By the way, these... Uh, Flame guy, no, those flame geysers. Um, in Pikmin 2, you're able to cover them up with Pikmin if you attack them with Pikmin, but you can't do that in this game. It wasn't invented yet, so I should say it wasn't implemented yet. So yeah. Um, is there anything that I can get? No, jeez, why did you guys go down here? Well, I was gonna say if there's, is there anything that I can get down here? Now that the puff stool is gone. I know I can't use the puff stool's remains because he's gone for the rest of the game. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to take my team through the death now. Great. No, it's actually not that big of a deal if you have other colors down here. You just push them towards the wall here and they'll just come right up with you. And what? What? He's making this discovery again? He made this discovery two other times. No, I'm, I'm not going to hear it anymore, Olimar. You have terrible memory. <laughs> My daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her very worried. I have now recovered 18 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 11 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And the others should be nearing the ship as well. Oh, there's a yellow candy pop. <laughs> a yellow candy pop bud up there if you need yellows, but you don't really need that many yellows in this game, as I said before. Analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. 
It's just like my boss. Or Super Princess Peach. <laughs> eh, yeah, ten more. Blah, 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 blah. And I wonder what else I can get here, because I, I the, the whole area is 100%ed now. Look how much time is left on the day here. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm at day nine here, and there's no enemies to take back. Maybe there's going to be some regrowing pellet posies or something like that along the way. I could knock down some walls, but that's completely useless at this point. I'll leave those pellet posies. Fine, build this. Build this. Do something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what really, like, what can I do here? Like, the, even the pellets that are typically around the base aren't growing. They're not flowered yet. You know, they don't have the pellet on them. And <laughs> oh, 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 I can take you on. So this is going to be the um, relaxation part. Just gonna listen to the quiet, gentle music. And flower our Pikmin. Maybe I should have pulled out the yellows for that. Maybe that's what I could do this part while I wait for the flowers to bloom is flower as many of one color, I should say as many of each color as I possibly can. So I could use some yellow flowers, I'm sure, because I rarely use them. Oh, and I should also mention, this walkthrough has been one of the glitchiest recording walkthroughs I've ever had. The, um... The game itself actually sometimes glitches the recording, and I have to restart recordings from the very beginning. It's very, very frustrating in its own way, but this game is fun to play anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it's... It's kind of disheartening when you have a recording that you think is good. But it's not because it's it's glitched up. I, I put a picture of one of my uh, recordings on my Tumblr of what one of those failed recordings looked like. Oh wow, that was great Pikmin flowering. Woo! Don't suck up anymore, please. I'd like to use that for some of the other colors. But yeah, I don't understand why this game of all games is giving me trouble with recording issues. I've tested it with other games, I have no issues whatsoever with it. I thought, like, when it first happened, I thought, oh my god, my camera is is broke or something. But no, it's it's just the it's just this game that's giving me issues. In fact, one of the recordings that I had when I was doing tests that, I, that had this glitch, I was playing it on my Wii. You know the Wii menu when it's got all those little TV sets and stuff like that on there? Well, that recorded just fine, but when I clicked on the GameCube portrait, you know, you put GameCube games in the Wii and you can play them off the Wii, or at least the older versions of the Wii you can. Well, you click on the GameCube, that plays just fine, but when it gets to the Pikmin screen, it glitched, like, instantly. It, it was so weird, because it's... I mean, it's just this game. I don't understand what's, what's the matter with this game when it comes to recording it. So, it, it, there's just something about this, and it's it's a little bit worrisome when you're recording, because this, this recording that I'm doing right here, it might, it might not go well, like, it just, it might be a scrapped recording, because the footage will be too glitchy to see. And that, actu that has actually made me want to switch over to another game. You know what, I should actually give these to the yellows. Like, just in the meantime, and put Pikmin off to the side, you know, so I can do Pikmin at a more casual basis rather than on a day-by-day uh, -day basis. I'm gonna put them all back in. So, if you see me switch to another game, it's not because I don't like playing Pikmin, and I'm, it's not because I'm having trouble with the gameplay or anything like that. It's because I'm having trouble with the recordings, and it's getting me a little bit ticked. <laughs> Let's get the yellows breeded up, because I've only got 94 of them, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm going to focus on getting the yellows and maybe the blues up. I'm just flopping around colors thoughtlessly here. I should be, should actually have, like, half yellow, half blues or so. I'm not really counting or anything like that. <laughs> uh, everyone back in? Come on. Take it back down to 49. There we go. Because I'm going to need, as I said, a lot of blues in the next area. And I should be getting the yellows up. Maybe I should be flowering the blues as well. Hmm, I don't know. 
Because there's some rocks I can use to flower them. But I've never had this much issues recording something in terms of glitches before. It's just... There must be something with this game's video signal that is... That's just messing me up. <laughs> Alright, you guys get on these rocks. Start chiseling! And while they're working on that, I think, actually, maybe I'll put away all the yellows after they're finished and then get all blues so I can get as many blues flowered as possible. Um, next walkthrough I'm planning is going to be one of a game that I've never, I mean of a game series that I've never played before on my channel, but it is a game series that I hold quite dear to my heart. But I will not say what it is in case I for some reason can't record that too. <laughs> I know, I just don't get what the issues I've been having lately are, but just how things go, I suppose, sometimes with uh, recording games. See, recording games, it's, uh, it's a lot different than when you're just playing solo. Like, when you're just playing casually, it's not like, um, because, you know, you have the technical limitations, you have to make sure all the recording, you gotta edit everything together. It's all, it's all fun work, but... It's, it's still different than what people might expect when you get into it. <laughs> it's definitely worth doing when you see the finished product, so to speak. Uh, I'm just randomly talking about stuff here, as you can tell, because I don't really have anything else to do at the moment. Because I'm just kind of doing stuff to bide my time, and maybe I shouldn't have taken the whole team down here. Uh, this was where one of the parts was, and this was where the first wall I knocked down was. That wall that I knocked down here was probably kind of useless actually, now that I think about it, because they could have just taken it around the other way. Eh, I don't know. You guys take that back to the base, I need to breed the blues. Well, not breed them, gotta flower them, too. Because I got, how many, 53 still in there. I've got 100 blues out on the field, so it's 153 blues. And there's gonna be more as they bring it back to the base. Come on, get some nectar here. Just trying to make this day as productive as possible. That's all? That's all you've got, really? <laughs> Dang it! I didn't get many flowers out of that. You gotta kinda swarm them around the nectar in like a straight line. If you can, if at all possible. Why? Where do you get that from? Is that still from way, way, way back near the water? Seriously? Did it take you that long to do that? Huh. Anyway, let's find some more pellets! <laughs> Stay productive! Let's... Oh, there's a five down there. It, it respawned. It's kind of odd. Bring it back! Bring it back, my slaves! <laughs> um... Let's see... Yeah, these ones... I think they're the multi-changing color ones. All the ones in this area seem to be the ones that change color and you gotta time your throws onto it. I think they do that, so you'll always be able to choose which Pikmin you want to breed, for the most part. There we go. Oh, I missed! Oh, and I missed that too! I just lost the po possibility of two Pikmin there, dang it! <laughs> it's not like I need them, though. As I said, I got a ton of Pikmin here, and casualties in Pikmin, when you can breed so many at one time are like a non-issue. It, it's almost hilarious that of how much of a non-issue casualties are. Though it is kind of sad when you see Pikmin die and they go, <laughs> but you know when you're trying to get back to your home planets, you don't really have time to be careful at times, I suppose. Bring it back. Good. I'll give it. Give that one another one. Oh, I threw that one a little too far there. Get two on there. Get... Get on... There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, having issues with that. More pellets! Pellets! This is going to be the most pointless episode ever, besides, you know, those two ship parts early on. I... I didn't think I would 100% an area in terms of killing all the enemies and getting all the pellets, like, at one time. But I think this is about as close as I'll ever come. <laughs> and it's just because I had so much time left over. <laughs> uh, what else can I do? 
How many yellows? 98 yellows. I think I should be... No, wait, wait, wait. If I have yellows out on the field to breed, I don't want to have any, you know, to pluck. That would kind of, kind of suck. I should probably should focus on getting a couple more yellows, even though there won't be much more use for yellows for the rest of the game. There's a, like, two more spots, I think, in the game that require yellows, but it's still a very small amount of yellows, and you still don't want the yellows in your team most of the time, because they're the least useful of all Pikmin. But, don't get me wrong, they're still useful, they're just the least useful of all the Pikmin. You just want the most versatile team you can, just for the sake of speed and whatnot. And there aren't even any enemies for me to kill off. I mean, it's like... <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for nothing. I can make the steam geyser. <laughs> and use it to do absolutely nothing, because it's pointless to go up there. Because then you'll, you'll end up leaving your Pikmin on the lower level, and you don't want to do that. That's why I never bothered using those steam geysers. I just always took the long way around just to be safe with my team. Ten seconds remaining, even though they're not really seconds. Can anyone, I mean, can everyone get back into their onions in time? Go, 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 go! <laughs> everyone, get in, hurry before sunset, even though you're going to be safe anyway. Oh, and here's how to heal yourself, by the way. You just stand in front of the ship, press the A. Uh, wait, what, what? I can't heal myself right now, seriously? Why? Is it because it's 10 seconds left? <laughs> well, you press A in that light and you get healed. And we're done! That was... a lot of burn time! <laughs> At least I greeted a couple of Pikmin there. Like, even with, with the corpses that I killed, you know, of all the enemies in the last part, they weren't there this part because the nocturnal enemies sweep up the corpses and clear them out, and you can't bring them back to the base. <laughs> so this area is 100% clear, except for that Wally Wog that only appears at sunset. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Nine days since impact. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicate that that taking food pellets to the onions of the same color results in the release of a larger number of Pikmin seeds. He never reported on this before, but it's kind of obvious. I've also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold A to grab one for a moment, or I can press X to dismiss them. He's reviewing that again, though. <laughs> so I sprouted 21 today. That was, wow, so productive. <laughs> And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part. Well, actually, it was kind of productive in a way, because I was able to flower a bunch of Pikmin as well, and that's pretty helpful for speed. But yeah, with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when we go over to the final area of the game, the Distant Spring. Well, it's actually second the final area, because you can tell by the ship parts if you total them up. That's not really a spoiler. 